Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? <laughs> Welcome to Cawther Park's second annual um, repertoire night. Tonight we are featuring five of our auditioned ensembles. Uh, the Senior Wind Ensemble will start, and they will be followed by our All Girls Choir, Les Belles Classiques, our Chamber Choir, our SATB Choir, our wonderful jazz groups, Mississauga Transit, our jazz choir, and our uh, wonderful jazz band, Jazz Lab. And so we're really happy that you are here tonight. You're going to see that it's a little bit more casual than our more formal spring and tis the season concerts. And we're really uh, working with our community. We feel it's really important to give back to our community. And we try to do so with sharing of music with you. So thank you so much for bringing your non-perishable um, Food, uh, food and cans for the Glen Food and e uh, Glen Food and that was interesting. The Glen Eden Food Bank. I thought it was funny. Yes, that was funny. Glen Food and Eden. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, thank you so much for uh, attending. Um, the Senior Wind will start off this concert, and we will be playing three pieces for you today. The first one is called Incantation and Dance. And just like the word means incantation, it's very sort of ritualistic, chant-like at the beginning. And then it goes into this really chaotic, sort of terrifying dance that features the percussion section. It was written by a man uh, whose name is John Barnes Chance. And uh, it was his first published work, and it, actually it was written for his own high school uh, many years ago. So we hope you enjoy Incantation and, and uh, Dance by John Barnes Chance. That rhymes. Yeah, chance dance. Uh, okay, here we go.
you so much. The next piece we wanted to perform for you is really a, a piece that was written by a wonderful American composer who studied at Juilliard, actually. His name is Eric Whitaker, and some of our choirs have performed uh, some of his music over the years. This particular piece, called Luke's Arunque, uh, you've probably seen it if any of you look on YouTube. You saw a virtual choir of over 2,000 people across the world <clears throat> record this piece and sing it uh, in a sort of SATV, soprano alto tenor bass. Uh, we're playing this piece because Eric also wrote a wind ensemble version. Um, this piece, when you look at it, is, it has eighth notes, quarter notes, maybe a few whole notes, and you think, geez, this is like the simplest piece, no big deal. And then we started to play it and we realized um, how, the beauti how beautiful the harmonies were, and, and it really sort of, as a group, touched our hearts, and we really wanted to play this, even though it's very difficult um, in its simplicity, if, if you know what I mean, uh, with regards to tuning and balance and all of that. Um, so we hope you enjoy it. Eric Whitaker's Lux Adonque.
just so beautiful. We had to um, play it for you. We really enjoyed playing that piece. Um, it sort of gives you tingles at the back of your neck sometimes. The last piece we'd like to play for you is entitled Porgy and Bess. And as you probably know, that it was written by the um, brother team of the Gershwin brothers, uh, George and Ira Gershwin. And we're playing an arrangement of that. Uh, it features a number of soloists, and I think I'm going to forget all of the soloists. So if you have a solo, could you just stand up for a moment, please, in this piece? Yeah. by playing really well, no pressure though, and uh, you'll probably recognize a lot of the selections in here, it's not very long, but uh, you will recognize anything from I Got Plenty of Nothing to Summertime. We hope you really enjoy this arrangement of Porgy and Bess. <laughs> 